Well, it's been nearly a month since the mass shooting in Fordyce, and the community is continuing to sl the slow road to recovery. Now, the Arkansas Community Foundation has established a Fordyce Survivors Fund for individuals impacted by the tragedy. Little Rock Ark spoke to Jessica Ford with the foundation today. Channel 7's Kaylin Clay joins us with the story. Kaylin. Beth, our Kansans everywhere know all too well that June 21st was a devastating day for the community of Fordyce. So the Arkansas Community Foundation is calling on our Kansans to use their Arkansas spirit to help, saying, don't forget about Fordyce. They've been through a very traumatic experience. They've seen their neighbors and loved ones die right in front of them, and that is a, a horrific thing to, to go through. Jessica Ford with the Arkansas Community Foundation says impacted individuals in Fordyce are facing long-term effects. That's why the Fordyce Survivors Fund was born. So we established the fund to help with long-term needs because the tale of something like this, um, the lasting impacts can be months and even into years. The fund is for people facing injuries after the shooting or those having lost an immediate family member. And there are needs like these that the fund can fulfill. If someone is bound in a wheelchair all of a sudden, they might not be able to get into their home. So they need a ramp or they need new flooring in their home. Or uh, for example, there was someone who had um, a tooth that was shot out and so he needs dental care right now and so it's things like that that um, these costs come up that you know you never know what it's going to be but it's you know issues like those that um, we hope that this fund can support 100 percent of the funds donated will be given to people directly impacted by the june 21st shooting and ford says that arkansans are generous but in the midst of recovery close attention must be paid to present needs you know, we're, we've become a little desensitized to shootings in the country, and so I think people are not paying as close attention as they should, and that um, they need to remember that this happened here, and our fellow Arkansans are in need, and that they can help. Well, funds are being accepted through September 30th, and they will be distributed by a local steering committee in Fordyce. On your side, I'm Kaylin Clay. Okay, Kaylin, thanks so much. $50,000 has already been contributed to that fund. To find out how you can donate, just check out our website, katv.com.